You have an incredible Instagram. You share so many things. You do break things down into simplicity in these analogies. But for those that are listening, what's what what do you find is one of the most important things that you could implement in everyday life to help become better, stronger, more flexible, and just more more healthy overall? That's a great question. Well, I'm always about basics and fundamentals. One is to uh, hydrate yourself, which means drink more water than you're doing right now, mm -hmm. right? And try to make a good quality water. And then watch whatever else you're sticking in your mouth in relationship to the water, which means not two cups of water, five cups of coffee. Yeah. Right? <clears throat> Minerals and electrolytes are a huge deal that I tell people to look into because stress depletes minerals. And then most people don't absorb plain water. So they need some type of cell salt or electrolytes uh, so they can get rehydrated. And then when you do that, you'll very often find that your sleep improves. Mm -hmm. Then I tell people, uh, try to get more sleep because if you're not sleeping, nothing works. Right. And then get more movement in your life, but different types of movement. So one is I tell people just simply stand up and jump up and down in place for 60 seconds to two minutes as you breathe in and out through your nose. And you can change your life quick, fast, and in a hurry just from doing that. Right. Because what are you moving when you do that? Yes. Like everything, all your fluids moving up and down, your organs are moving up and down. Right. It's a huge deal for that. And then another one is I'm going to say to try to surround yourself with um, more positive people in your life and not so much toxicity, because that's the one, you know, that can suck your healing energy out of you without you even realizing it. So take note of who you're surrounding yourself with during the day uh, in person, but also where you choose to surf on the uh, Internet. Yeah. And then look in the mirror because the most toxic person might be you. Hmm. Right. It's very, uh, those are some simple, profound ones like that. Those are catalyst for, uh, everything else. And then of course, like we mentioned before is, uh, begin to work your lymphatic system. Yeah. That's a big one. No, those are profound fundamental lessons we all have to take in. And yep. I even, I even posted on this one recently, you know, say, say, you know, I love you more, most importantly to the person in the mirror. I think we do kind of have a toxic relationship with ourselves and, you know, toxicity isn't just in that physical format that accumulates from the glyphosate, everything else. It's the emotional yep. toxicity. You said the people, the energies that are toxic, that can be so impactful. We often forget about those. Dr. Nicholson, I want to wrap this up and allow you to kind of share where can it, people learn more about you? I think you have a book coming out, right? Stop Chasing Pain and so many other things I'm sure you're, you're, you're working on. Yes, thank you very much. I appreciate that. Yeah, the book is <clears throat> it's coming out hopefully within the next year or so, a work in progress for sure. Uh, but you can go to my website, stopchasingpain.com. And then that'll be the jump start for all the things that we offer people. And we're on, on every social media platform you can think of. And we have education for all humans, not just healthcare professionals, but everyday people that you can, there's so much to choose from. It's a rabbit hole that you can definitely go down and, and, uh, and learn a lot. And uh, we also have our own podcast that we've had on the air for over 12 years. So we were well, the first ones to come on out and we've talked to a lot of smart people over the years and uh, it'd be cool if you tune into that. It's called the Stop Chasing Pain podcast. Imagine that. But thank you so much for having me on. I had a really good time. Oh, this was amazing. Thank you so much for your work and uh, wishing you all the best. And everyone, please do go check out stopchasingpain.com.